Hey there YouTube and welcome to Altcoin Picks. Today we are doing our coin analysis on the upcoming ICO DAB or DAB Network. But before we begin, I want to remind you that this is an ICO and please remember to do your own research before investing because of course, any ICO can be extremely risky. Also, this is a sponsored video, but I do reserve the right to be honest and objective for all of you. So let's begin. First, let's look at the ICO sheet where DAB gets an 84.38%. Now, of course, this is still evolving because we're deciding the proper formulas to rate each and every project. With that being said, their advisory team is actually the best I have seen in quite a long time, getting a 5, which is the maximum score possible on my ICO sheet. With that being said, let's get started with this coin analysis. So of course, what does my coin analysis of DAV consist of? First, we have what is DAV, the coin purpose, the team and advisory team, the market cap, the competition and partners, if they have a prototype, the roadmap or the goals of the project, and then a star rating between one and 10 where I give the pros and cons of DAV. So what is DAV? DAV is a computer network that connects self-driving vehicles such as cars, trucks, and drones to everyone on that network. Users can pay for the use of any of these vehicles with the DAV token to get a ride somewhere or pick up or deliver a package. People who own these vehicles or the charging station on the network can make money for the services that they provide. This means the average person such as you or I could have an entire network of self-driving vehicles at their fingertip to bring them anything or to take them anywhere with the DAV token. So what is their coin purpose? The DAV token allows for the creation of this new transportation ecosystem. The token will enable secure transaction as a global payment standard and their supporting infrastructure. So of course now the most important part in my opinion, their team and advisors. So first we're gonna talk about their top three MVPs. We have Nomal Kopal, which is the CEO of DAV. In 2003, he created the world's first smartphone encryption system, which is distributed in over 50 countries. He gets a star for that. Next we have John Fraser. He is the CCO at DAV. And he is a former external relations lead for the Ethereum Foundation and was a senior member of the DevCon 3 team. And he gets his master star for being in the IT space since 1997. That is their first superstar. And then finally, our third MVP of this team is Shahar Frank. He's the dev team lead and he has been a team lead for numerous companies. He gets his superstar for that experience and his software experience at AOL. He gets his master star for being in the IT field since 1998. So as you can see, their team has four stars, two superstars, and three master stars. And I totally forgot to say this. Don't forget to smash that like button. And if you haven't smashed that subscribe button, then smash that also. Now, of course, like I said earlier, their advisory team. This is the best I have seen in a very long time. So their first superstar is Dr. Alan Messer, and I believe this is their best advisor of all of them. This guy is definitely a superstar. He is the CTO and VP at General Motors, was a VP at Samsung, senior member of technical staff at HP, principal engineer at Sony, and has been in the space or the IT space since 1996. So he gets his master star for being around so long. Next, we have Priyanka, I think that's how you say her name, who is the head of emerging tech at SAP, and she's been there since 2000, and she gets her master star for being in the IT space since 1997. Definite superstar there. And then our third advisor, MVP, is Nick Johnson. He's a definite superstar here. He has worked as a software engineer at Ethereum for two years, was at Google before that for about seven years, and definitely has some amazing experience and is close to hitting that 20-year mark in the IT space. So I wanted to note that they have a bunch of great advisors with one of them being Dr. Horowitz, who is a former space shuttle astronaut. <laughs> that alone is pretty awesome. You don't see that every day. And like I said, check them out. This is one of the best advisory teams I've seen on any project, which is why they got a five out of five. And now for their market cap, we're looking at 38 million hard cap. That's a little higher than I want, but it's actually not a bad hard cap. We don't know the circulating supply or the total supply yet, but we will know an after or during the ICO. One Ethereum equals 10,000 DAV, so we're looking at about 10 cents per token right now based off Ethereum's price. The ICO starts on April 30th, so we have some time to decide if we wanna jump into this ICO. 
And of course, like majority of the ICOs, US is restricted from investing. So now for their competition and partners, DAV doesn't really have any competition within the crypto space, at least that I could find, but it does, however, have mainstream companies working to achieve autonomous driving vehicles, such as AOR, which is a startup founded by Google aiming to perfect a self-driving vehicle. Then we have Waymo, which aims to create the world's most experienced driver, and then Tesla, which it's Tesla, I don't really need to give an introduction to that. Now for their partners, we have Avasi. It's the world's largest organization devoted exclusively to advancing the unmanned system and robotics community. We have Coex, which is a leading enterprise in automated delivery drone services. Then we have Advanced Aircraft Company. This is an aircraft manufacturer specialized in the production of unmanned vehicles. Then we have Hisarian. I think that's how you say it. It's an IoT platform for automation and robotics. Then the H3 Dynamics. This is an energy storage solution service for unmanned vehicles. Now, majority of their partners are unknown. This is why they got a one in their quality partners. I'm not saying these are bad, and it looks like they will work well with DAV, but nothing huge that probably most of us have ever actually heard before. So now looking at their prototype, they actually have a platform which is in beta right now. It was actually kind of hard to extract the information for this. I had to go on their Telegram, which then they linked me to their GitHub. I went on their Facebook, was messaging them, and it wasn't the easiest information to get. They do have a YouTube video though, which I will link in the comments that describes it a bit. Now for their roadmap, of course, we always go to their website for this, but on their white paper, they actually show what their major milestones consist of, and that's what I'm gonna tell you today. We have milestone one is the world's first autonomous vehicle to autonomously bid for delivery services. They will complete them and get paid using cryptocurrency directly to its own wallet. Then number two, the world's first autonomous vehicle to pay for its own battery placement using cryptocurrency and take off to complete its delivery mission. Number three, world's first autonomous vehicle to pay another autonomous vehicle or robot using cryptocurrency for completing the last mile of a delivery mission. And then their final one is the longest drone delivery flight ever flying across country using the support of multiple DAV batteries charging stations along the way. So additional development, add support for robotics, cars, and vehicles. Then additional development, add support for robotics, vehicles, cars, and marine vessels. If you look here, there's a more detailed roadmap here and it's fairly extensive. It looks like Q4 of 2018 is where most of this will actually happen. So now for their stars, they're getting an 8.5 out of 10 stars. And the pros for DAV are they have a large future economy with an expected revenue of 800 billion by 2035, which is forever away, then 7 trillion by 2050. First in Next, they're the first and only company with plans to build an autonomous transportation ecosystem on air, water, and land. They have a score of about 85% on my ICO sheet, which is pretty good, but can change since we are working out the kings in the ICO sheet. It could go up or down. They also have a pretty good team. And of course, my opinion, one of the best advisory teams I have seen. And now for their cons. They have a super ambitious project that is in a super competitive space. Granted, it's not really competitive in the cryptocurrency space. They're still competing against some of the top companies in the world, Google, Tesla, and an Uber type project. They gotta also deal with international laws and regulations, which may cripple DAV's trade and expansion. And then the ownership of the DAV token may be open to new taxation laws that might affect the value or DAV's benefit. And then finally, the token, might have a tough time gaining value in the beginning stages of development, super similar to Civic, a great project that has some super long-term potential, but in the early stages, they kind of need something to really get going. Huge wide community or world acceptance to really be big, and if that happens, will be huge. I expect the same thing here. Thank you so much for watching my coin analysis on DAV or DAV Network. Don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button. Check out my Discord where if you become an MVP, you can get access to the ICO sheet, which we will be updating more and more, fixing the scores, and hopefully finding the next big ICO. <laughs> Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time.